Hello all, welcome to 100bytes.com. In this video, I'm going to show how to create a WebLogic admin server, manage servers, cluster of managed servers, and a node manager. A node manager is a WebLogic server utility which is used to start and stop the admin server and manage servers remotely. So before I show how to create a WebLogic server, I want to give a brief overview about how these servers and cluster sits in the domain. Let's say like uh, like I have a machine called an A, uh, like a where let's I'll call it as an A. Okay. Before going into this, uh, like once you install the WebLogic server, uh, these admin server, managed servers all resides in an entity called a domain. So I'm going to draw a domain as a one more box inside this. So in the, inside the domain where we have a multi, uh, multiple managed servers and admin server. So this is my admin server, which is I'm going to mark it as uh, some cross and the multiple managed servers like these are like, let's say I'm going to create a five managed servers in, in this domain actually. Okay. So uh, to make it clusters, we need to combine a more than one managed server or you can have a one having a uh, like a cluster with one managed server but that doesn't make sense here I'm going to make it as a two managed server as a single cluster so this is my cluster which has a two managed servers and uh, node manager is an utility which resides in a like a domain which is used to start and stop this uh, admin server and managed servers remotely okay uh, this domain as I said like these uh, servers resides in, the, in an entity called domain but this domain have a can also extend extend across the machines let's say I have a machine uh, B so like uh, this uh, so the same domain can extend to the machine B so where I am going to create a couple of uh, some more uh, manage uh, some more managed servers actually so like these these are things I'm going to create it so these four managed servers created and have a and weblogic server has provided a uh, like an option to combine the managed server across the machines to form a cluster. So in this case, I'm going to combine these two servers in a single cluster. So here, actually, this cluster is like run between uh, two machines A and B, where these uh, like two managed servers are there. But these are a part of a single WebLogic server domain. For this tutorial, I'm going to create a um, five managed server and one admin server, two clusters, like a uh, admin server and uh, manage server 1 manage server 2 resides in a cluster 1 manage server 3 manage server 4 resides in a resides in a cluster 2 and manage server 3 which, which will be alone so these are the things we are going to create so let's move on to how to create the uh, this weblogic server so like uh, before uh, before create before creating a weblogic server we have to install us a, a jar file uh, which is called a uh, <coughs> which is called which is a middleware uh, binaries we uh, we have to uh, locate in the oracle website you have to download and install it i'm going to skip that part because that is very straightforward uh, like once you installed it you will find in this is the path like so in this case i have installed uh, like the middleware under oracle folder that is equal to oracle middleware oracle home so here you'll find a bunch of folders so like oracle common user project wls server majors so here the user project is the there where our domain resides that is like weblog server resides so under domain you will find a base domain is there this is already i have created a domain so coming back to this oracle home folder you'll see oracle common and WLS server under Oracle common uh, there is one more folder called common bin so here you will find a bunch of uh, like, like more many uh, startup scripts like shell script and command prompt script which is where these are uh, so in this we are we need to find the config.sh so the config.sh is the one or config.cmd is the one which will start the con uh, configuration wizard to create the weblogic server so Confluent SH is for the Unix platform and Confluent CMD is for the Windows platform. So I'm going to start the config.cmd which will internally start the configuration wizard. So this is the 
starting screen of the configuration wizard so i'm going to create a new domain so if you want to update an already existing domain that is you want to change any modification to that domain you have to select this and you have to select your domain whatever you want uh, and after you have to do modifications but in this case we are want to create a new domain so i, I selected the new domain and i'm going to give the domain as like my as a test domain okay then click next so this is the screen where uh, it will shows all the applications like enterprise manager oracle web services manager and etc but we are for this video we are going to stick together with the basic web logic server domain uh, so that is default by selected and i and i clicked the next button so that will take to the next screen called administrator account this is the screen uh, like where we have to configure the web logic server administrator uh, the username is weblogic by default it comes i'm going to stick to the stick to weblogic so the passwords i'm going to enter and then click next in this screen you can configure whether you want to have a domain mode or development mode or production mode and the jdk if you want to select other jdk uh, you can browse and go for to select other jdk but i'm going to stick together with the whatever jdk comes in this and this jdk is picked up from your machine uh, that is environment so next screen and this is the advanced configurations so like uh, if you don't want to create any managed servers like uh, like for uh, some development perspective uh, just you want to go with one a single admin server you just click next and create uh, but in for our purpose for in this video we want we want to create a multiple managed servers node manager and also i am going to show how to change the port of admin server from default so for that i am going to select the admin server to create a node manager this is to create a managed server and clusters okay so this is an admin server configuration so this is by default it comes with 7001 so during in installation time going to change it to 8001 itself and if you want to enable ssl port you can enable but i am not going to enable so the next screen is for node manager so for this node manager i'm going to select no per domain i want the no one node manager so this is uh, my admin of a node manager and uh, and the password for this node manager uh, node admin actually and this is the screen where i'm going to create a multiple that is five managed servers like uh, the server name i'm going to change to managed server one in this case i want to listen to all the local addresses or if you want to change only particular address or whatever it is you can change it to here and the what is the listen port if you want to change it to 8003 also you can listen port to 8003 or other i'm going to stick with a 7003 itself and this is to enable the ssl uh, so if you want to enable ssl you can enable ssl and uh, managed server 2 similarly you can create a like a more than a, like five managed servers basically and the corresponding uh, listening ports are listed are there so and if you want to enable ssl also you can enable it okay and going to the next screen in this screen you are going to create the clusters so cs1 and a cs2 so here if you want to have address you can put it but i'm going to go with the default so assigning the servers to the clusters to, to assign the servers to the clusters it's uh, like a very easy so you just need to select the manage server 1 manage server 2 and select the, what's the cluster you want to so here i want to put it in the cluster 1 so just click this button it will move to the cluster 1 so you don't want suppose if you want to move, remove this ms2 from here you just select that and click this button it will come to here so but in this case i want to keep it under cluster 1 so i move it again and similarly manage server 3 and manage server 4 to the cluster 2 so to select multiple servers you have to press control and select so that that will select uh, multiple managed servers then once it's done click next so uh, so next again and this is the machines these machines are used to uh, for the node managers so for this i'm going to create a machine one so just i'm going to create one machine so and uh, the port is the by default it is listening in the 5556 so i'm going with the next so this is the screen where uh, like all the servers which is going to list uh, so, okay let's say like i'm going to create a two my machines like a machine one and machine two so that will give you more information for you how to create it so like two other things and uh, port i'm going to change 557 this one machine two and click next so here uh, like for the machine one uh, i'm going to put admin server and uh, 
minus over 5 and this all these thing just control select all the minus uh, ms1 to ms4 and put it under a uh, machine 2 okay then click next so this is the page where you can overview or uh, review all your uh, what are the things you did so here you can can see that under you have cluster cs1 and these many managed servers or uh, if you have applications which is targeting you can show uh, everything and the machines what are the machine one has admin server and managed server 5 machine to all these four servers and the cluster what are the clusters all those things you can hear so if you are okay like it's everything is good to go then you just need to click the create button so this will start creating a domain so if so this will take some time like maybe like a like few seconds yeah now the domain is created then click next so if you want to start the admin server uh, you can start it here itself so else uh, you can click finish uh, in this case i want to start it uh, separately so that's it i will show this how to start and stop this services locally and remotely in the next tutorial thanks to thanks for watching this tutorial uh, visit 100bytes.com for more tutorials thank you